In this problem, we're being asked to use long division and then state q of x, which is the quotient, and r of x, which is the remainder. Let's go ahead and go through it. So the first step is we're going to take this x minus 4, and we're going to write it out here like this. Then I'm going to put the funny division symbol like this. Make it really big, just in case. And then we have 4x to the fourth, so that will go here. Now you'll notice that we're missing uh, an x cubed. So what I like to do is I like to use placeholders. So I'm going to put a plus and a 0x cubed just to fill it in. And then minus 4x squared plus 6x. And we're missing a constant term, so I'm just going to add the number 0 to fill it in. I like placeholders. You don't have to use placeholders. Um, the way I do it, though, is, is with placeholders. I think it's just easier. So here's how it works. You start by asking the question, what do you multiply by x in order to get 4x to the fourth power? Well, 4x cubed, right? 4x cubed will work because 4x cubed times x will give you this. So because it's a cubic term, you put it above the cubic term. Notice that if I didn't have the placeholder, I wouldn't be sure where to put it. So 4x cubed. Now you start the multiplication process. 4x cubed times x is 4x to the fourth, and then 4x cubed times negative 4 is negative 16x cubed. Then you draw a line, and many people switch the signs. I don't like doing that. Instead, I put a parentheses and a giant minus sign, and then I add 4x to the fourth plus negative x to the fourth, right? It gets distributed is 0. 0x zero cubed plus a positive, right? becomes positive 16x cubed is 16x cubed. And then I bring down the next one, so I write an arrow, and I write minus 4x squared. Then you start the process again. You ask the question, what do you multiply by x in order to get 16x cubed? Well, 16x squared. So you put it here above the x squared term. Notice how I'm lining them all up. It makes it much, much better. Then you perform the multiplication. 16x squared times x is 16x cubed. 16x squared times negative 4 is negative 64x squared. And I draw a line, I put a parentheses, and I put a giant minus sign, and then I add. You might say, oh, you can switch the signs. You can, but I don't like doing it, because that way if you want to go back later and check your work, it's easier. So we add these, and again, we're distributing the negative and adding, so they cancel. This is 4x squared plus, sorry, negative 4x squared plus the 64x squared. So negative 4 plus 64 is 60x squared. And then you bring down the 6x. Beautiful. I picked a harder one on purpose. This is definitely uh, a little bit more challenging than a lot of the other long division problems. Then we do the process again. What do you multiply by x in order to get 60x squared? Well, 60x. And then notice it goes above the x term, so 60x. Then you perform the multiplication. 60x times x is 60x squared. 60x times negative 4 is negative 120. Oh, uh, no, not negative 120. <laughs> negative 240. Oh, it's so big. Negative 240x. Right? 6 times 4 is 24. Parentheses, giant negative sign. Add, these cancel. Add, you're going to get 6 plus 246. So 246x. Are we done? No, we're not, because we still have another one to bring down. That's right. We're going to be silly and bring down the 0. <laughs> and then you say, what do you multiply by x to get 246x? Well, 246. Then 246 times x is 246x. And then 246 times negative 4. I'm going to get my calculator for this one just to be sure. Negative 984. Big numbers. Parentheses giant minus sign, and then you add. These cancel, and this becomes a positive 984. Okay, so this is the remainder. So r of x is equal to 984. That's called the remainder. And q of x, that's the quotient. q of x is all of this stuff here. So 4x cubed 
plus 16x squared plus 60x plus 246. That's what the question wanted. It wanted the quotient and the remainder. However, I think it's better to do this. So this is actually equal to the quotient. So 4x cubed plus, this is how you use it in like calculus and stuff, plus 60x plus 246. You see, what is this for? Now you can take something complicated and write it like this, plus, and then it's the remainder, 984, over the divisor, x minus 4. You can always write it this way, always. It's always quotient plus remainder over divisor, which I guess is d of x, but it's this. And that's how you use it. That's why it's useful. That's why you learn it. Because you have something like this, and you're trying to do something with this, but this is really hard to work with. It turns out that this is actually really easy to work with in other areas of math, like calculus. So it's easier to work with this than it is to work with this. And that's why, that's why it's taught. That's why you actually learn it. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.